It's the day before ACL 2013, and that means those last-minute preparations are well underway. But it's not just ACL organizers who are gearing up for this two-weekend festival. Nearby neighborhoods are also preparing for an influx of guests parking on their streets. KXAN's Omar Lewis has a story from inside Zilker Park, where in less than 24 hours, there will be more than 75,000 people. There's eight stages, 130 bands, and two weekends of the ACL Music Fest. And that means nearly double the preparation, especially in the case of a weather event. Part of producing an event on this scale is being prepared for absolutely everything that, that could happen. ACL organizers say when it comes to weather, they're taking no chances and expecting the unpredictable. Backstage, they'll be monitoring for storms and winds. Stages are also prepped to make any emergency announcements, and that's not all. Downloading the festival app and accepting push notifications is one way that we'll be able to tell fans about severe weather. Just across the Mopac Expressway, the Rollingwood neighborhood is also preparing for floods of people. Now, with so many cars coming in, the streets have become clogged. Rolling Woods Police Chief says the crowds have become a safety hazard, spilling into the neighborhood, blocking streets and driveways, also bringing crime along with them. So to tackle the issue... What we had to do this year was um, increase the permit parking area. And there will be no parking signs everywhere. We counted, looks like 200 of them. Rollingwood residents will each get four of these permits, but if you don't have one, you'll get a ticket. ACL organizers have even paid the city to add officers for the two weekends. We want people to understand that you can't park here. But for Rollingwood resident Colin McDougal, the parking is the least of his worries. Parking is a small price to pay. He's attending the festival and says he'll only be preparing to hear his favorite bands. Well, ACL is, you know, it's an international festival. It keeps Austin on the international map, keeps us relevant as a music capital. Omar Lewis, KXAN News.